All right, once again, took a lot longer than I'd expected, but I do have the Variant Scythe Burst Starts ranked this time for God Eater 3. So without further ado, Mercy Spiral is a light attack combo finisher. This is basically God Eater 3's version of Turbulence, where your character spins the scythe repeatedly. Unlike Turbulence, it does drain your stamina, so you can't do it indefinitely, and it also has an OP gain, which I guess can help for gun-based builds. B tier. Reaper's Call is a light attack combo. A pink-looking weapon trail follows your blade, and just like Will of the Wisp Cutter in 2, it has an elemental bonus. B tier. Soul Eater is a heavy attack combo. It has a lifesteal bonus, which can be pretty useful, but also, this art is just fucking beautiful. I mean, look at it. I like the color. I like the little dark flames that sprout with each swing. It's probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing burst arts in the entire game, so extremely biased S tier. Slaughter Fang is a move that modifies your round fang attack. A red aura follows your blade. It doesn't really do anything aside from increased damage, though. C tier. Inferno Rush is another round fang, but much like God Razor in 2, you actually swipe vertically, and having the swings concentrated to one point definitely makes things easier if you're aiming for a weak spot, so A tier, just like its cousin. Nightmare Reaper is 3's version of Mortal Divide. It's a cleave fang move that does bonus damage to weak points when you reel it back in. I also love the little feathers that fall off when you're about to deal the final hit. Anyway, S tier. Heaven or Hell is another cleave thing, and 3's equivalent to Execution from 2. Also, just like before, there's a really tight window where you have to press within it to get it to land, and mashing R1 and square won't help you this time. Fortunately, the visual tells are a lot easier to spot, the circle that shrinks and overlaps onto your character is still there, but this time there is a brief flash of light once it ends and that's when you press, so it's not as hard to pull off in this game. Also, I've been told the PC version of God Eater 2 is broken. A few timers in the game's code got thrown out of whack to make the game run at 60 FPS, so the window for God Eater 2's execution is even smaller than it should be if you're on PC. <laughs> Goddamn. Anyway, this isn't about execution in 2, we're talking about his better looking cousin, S tier. Twin Talons modifies both the Vertical Fang and Cleave Fang moves. Your character brings the scythe down for increased damage, and then the second hit also gets a boost when you reel it back in. You also restore stamina on the last hit, A tier. Fanatic Scythe is a light attack aerial combo, very similar to Mad Orbit from 2. Your character will perform their normal combo, and after the third hit, they can chain into a second, stronger one, for a total of six hits. Here's where Fanatic differs, though. This is God Eater 3 we're talking about. You can devour in midair, and when you do, it resets your entire air combo. So you could pull this off indefinitely so long as you avoid getting hit, and this pretty much trivializes any fights where the origami is either flying, really tall, or otherwise has any weak point that's high above the ground, S tier. Trinity Spin is 3's version of Spinning Pendulum. Your character can chain this move up to three times. Found it a little more useful in 3, though it still holds C tier. It's a little less funny to look at here than it is in God Eater 2. Dystopia is the windmill drop of this game, where your character lunges forward from midair and brings the scythe down. It also has a down bonus, which makes it a little more useful than it was previously. The white doesn't look bad either. C tier. Grim Reaper is a light step attack. Your character cuts once and then does a backflip for the second hit. The green and black does look pretty cool, and it leaves your character suspended in midair just like Surprise Attack did. I'm actually going to give this a C instead of a D like last time, since I feel not locking the rest of the combo behind making contact with the origami makes this move a little less awkward to use. Hell's Gate is another light step attack. It has a weak point bonus as well, and god bless this game for giving the scythe more than one step attack art this time. B tier. Bloody Claw is a heavy step attack. As the name implies, it also has a lifesteal bonus. Probably the coolest looking step attack if you ask me, and the effect can be good as well, especially considering you can't carry as many items as you could in the older games. A tier. And that's it. All variant scythe burst starts ranked. It's actually the first time I spent a significant amount of time using the scythe in God Eater 3. It did feel a bit awkward, but I got used to it. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed it, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all again very soon.